This morning, I'm going to show you how to share an article on LinkedIn so that other people see what you've created. Because what you create is probably awesome and they need to read it. So you start by getting to your homepage of your iPhone and you flip up the screen from the bottom to reveal your toolbox or this dashboard. And on the bottom right corner, there's a box with a circle in it. Currently, it's flashing because we're recording right now but it wouldn't be flashing when you get to it. And that's what you'll tap to make a recording of your screen grab. And you can make it into a video. And so one of the things you need to do is make sure is the, the microphone has been activated. So you, you hold down on top of that circle for a couple seconds and another screen pops up. Now currently it's flashing red showing we're recording, but it wouldn't be doing that when you get to this first. This down below where it says microphone on, you need to tap it on to make it start allowing the microphone to work. When, it's, when you first get there, it's gonna be grayed out. And when you tap it, it turns red. So once the microphone's activated, you can tap to the top of the screen, you've got that going. And so when you're ready to start recording, you'll put your thumb down on that circle, that's currently flashing red now, and it'll activate the recording. It'll have a countdown, three, two, one. Once it's live, you tap the top of that screen to make the dashboard go away. Now you're back on your homepage. And you can move around and you're making a recording of whatever you're seeing on your screen. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to my LinkedIn page and I'm gonna pull up, <coughs> excuse me, an article that I wanna share with people in my network. So I go to see articles, tap on that. And here's the articles I've written recently. One of them I like is this one about why I chase CEOs. So I tap on that and the article appears. And what I want to do is I want to tap at the bottom right corner where it says share. So I'm going to hit that share button. And I have a choice. Do I share the post or do I just send it to someone directly? Maybe there's someone I've been talking to that I want them to understand why I've been calling them about our CEO groups. So I could send it directly to them in a private message. Or I could share it in a directly post. Or there's some other options. You can go outside of LinkedIn and share it different places. So for today's video, I'll just share it as a post. So I click the top where it says share and post. Now it's taken that article and it's moved it to one of my posts and I would add whatever verbiage I want. Make it easier on yourself, tap the little microphone on the bottom left side and there's a little microphone there and you can record what you want to say and it will type it for you. You say the word period, it types a period. I'll continue on with my post. Okay, so that's written the message I want it to, to write to. At the top, you can see that you can choose to send it to anyone on Twitter or just people on LinkedIn. Anyone plus Twitter or people just on LinkedIn. I've chosen anyone on Twitter. Anyone and Twitter, excuse me. You can also throw some hashtags up there so it's searchable. So I'll put DFW, I'll put CEO, I'll put peer-to-peer. -peer. Those are the ones I use most con constantly. I can also do Dallas. Um, I think those are the ones that I use most often. And then um, when you're done, you just push post at the top right, post. And that has posted, you can even click view and it shows that post, the actual post you made. Here's a reminder of why. And if you did happen to make a typo, which I do often, you just kind of see the word as you want it to be there, but it's not correct. You can hit the top right corner, there's three little dots and you can top it, uh, tap it and you can edit the post. And you click on that, you go back and change whatever you need to change. And then you just save it again. I know I'm going fast, but most of you know all this stuff. So that is how you post that. <clears throat> then when you're done and you made your video, what do you want to do? You go back to the home screen and the, you'll see the red bar still at the top recording. Tap that red bar and it will say, do you want to stop recording? And you either choose cancel if you want to keep doing it or you push stop. When I hit stop, it's going to automatically deposit this video into my photos album. So let me cancel this for a second. And I go to my camera which is the easiest way for me to get to all my photos. And you'll see the video is there in the photo. 
and you can even edit it or if you want to choose to to shrink the length of it you can crop it by moving these little bars at the bottom you grab the arrow on the outside edge over here down at the bottom you grab this and you drag it over and you grab the one on the left and you drag that over and that allows you to crop it to make whatever size video you want out of what you recorded and then push done and it will save it as a new clip and that way you've got the original in case you decide to go back and do some other part of it but you've got the new clip so once you're done with all those editings you can go and post that video on your social media channels okay i think that's enough for today i'm going to push stop if you have any questions you can always call me